What's going on everybody? It's Ken York Family Gaming and today I'm going to show you how to download and install Minecraft Forge 1.7.2 the easy way. We don't have to change any files. We don't have to type anything in specific. We're just going to download and install. That's all we're going to do. I want to show you exactly how to do that. But first, before we do anything, we want to make sure that we open up our Minecraft launcher and run our Minecraft in the version that we're going to be downloading and installing Minecraft Forge for. Today we're gonna to be doing Minecraft Forge for 1.7.2. So make sure that you open up your Minecraft launcher right now. And once you've done that, go over here to the edit profile, click on that, make sure that you scroll down to the used version, click on that, make sure that you find release 1.7.2, click on that, hit save profile and play. That way it updates and downloads and installs Minecraft version 1.7.2 in all of its files so that it's ready to play so that you can download and install your Minecraft Forge 1.7.2. If you don't have the correct version updated and downloaded and ready to play, Minecraft Forge won't download until you've ran it. It'll tell you to make sure that you've ran and installed Minecraft version, whatever it is that you happen to be downloading your Minecraft Forge for. So now we've got it started. This is all that you've got to do right here. It's going to start the new Minecraft screen. Once it does that, once you see this screen right here, that means you've successfully updated, downloaded, and installed your Minecraft for 1.7.2 or whatever version you happen to be downloading Minecraft Forge for. Once you've done that, go ahead and click and exit right out of your Minecraft launcher screen in your Minecraft menu. We're going to go right down to our Internet Explorer and we're going to type in files.minecraftforge.net. Again, that is files.minecraftforge.net. Once you've done that, it's going to bring you right here to this Minecraft Forge downloads page. We're getting Minecraft Forge for 1.7.2. We're going to look for 1.7.2 latest right here in the promotions area that you see right there. We're getting 1.7.2 latest. We're going to go ahead and scroll right on over to the installer. Click on that right now. It's going to bring you right on over to AdFly. Do not click on the download stuff right here in the middle of the page. You can't see it right now on my computer screen, but on yours, it's going to say skip ad in the top right hand corner. It's a big yellow thing. You can't miss it. Go ahead and click on skip ad right now, and it's going to bring up do you want to open or save Forge 1.7.2 or whatever version of Forge you happen to be downloading right now. Go ahead and click on save. Once you've done that, open your folder. It's going to bring you right straight to the folder that Forge just downloaded to. Make sure that it's selected and highlighted and once it is, go ahead and just click on it once just to make sure we're ready. We're selected. You can see it right there. Go up here to the top of your little folder right there. It's going to say open. We want to open it with Java TM plot platform SE binary. So to do that, just make sure that you go up there to the little open spot, click on the little down arrow and open with Java TM platform SE binary. It's going to bring up the mod system installer for Minecraft Forge. You're going to make sure that install client is selected. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on OK. It's downloading all the libraries for Minecraft Forge. And we're just about ready. I'm going to show you exactly what the complete part looks like once it's finally successfully installed Minecraft Forge 1.7.2 on your computer. There it is. Complete. Successfully installed client profile Forge for version Forge 10.12. 0.1039 in the launcher and grab two required libraries. Go ahead and click on OK. We're pretty much done with all that. Go ahead and exit out of everything. Exit out of your Internet Explorer. We are going to run our Minecraft once again, but we're going to do things just a little bit differently. This time we don't have to manipulate any files at all. I know you've seen tutorials where you have to, but we're going to go ahead and open it right on up. Go ahead and click on Run. This way, it'll install it all for you. You can skip all the hard steps, trying to rename things and do this or that. Once your Minecraft launcher opens up, go right back down to edit profile. Go to use version, which is right there at the bottom part of it, pretty much. Go ahead and click the down arrow. Scroll all the way down to release 1.7.2 Forge or whatever version of Forge you just happened to download and install. Go ahead and click on that right now. Save profile and play. That's all you've got to do. Minecraft Forge has just downloaded and installed itself into your Minecraft. 
it's going to bring up our new screen right here. Once it does, you're going to see that the mods are indeed loaded in, in Minecraft Forge is in your Minecraft. We've already got it running. Three mods loaded, three mods active. It brings up this cool little mods tab right here and shows you what mods you just downloaded. Now, Minecraft Forge doesn't just start with cool mods. You got to get them. How do you get them? Hmm. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now as well. And how to put your mods into your Minecraft folder. This is, this is where it gets just a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it the first time, it is so easy. Go ahead and click done. Exit right out of your Minecraft game right now. We're going to go over to my good friend's 9minecraft.net page right over here. We want Minecraft mods for Minecraft 1.7.2. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we've got Minecraft 1.7.2 mods ready to go. We're going to go ahead and select that right now. We're going to go right on over there. You just saw us at the Herobrine mod. That's one. That's the one we're going to download right now. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go right on down over here. Scroll it on down to the bottom. It's going to give you all kinds of cool little screenshots and information on how to download and install Minecraft Herobrine mod. We're going to go ahead and just go ahead and do this right now. We're looking for it for 1.7.2. We're going to download from server 1. We're doing that from Mediafire. Go ahead and click on download as soon as you see it right there. And then it should pop up that it's downloaded. It's are you, Do you want to open or save Harold Brian 148 jar from downloadmediafire.com? Make sure you exit out a little pop-up that just popped up that you just saw. And then it, it's going to bring you right back to the mediafire.com page. Go ahead and click save. And then we're going to open our folder. And it should be already selected, the Harold Brian mod. We're going to go ahead and minimize that right now. Get right on out of our Internet Explorer. And this is how you're going to put your mods into your mod folder for Minecraft 1.7.2. Now that you're back at your desktop, go ahead to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen to the Windows icon. Click on that in the Search Programs and Files. Go ahead and type in percent app data percent. And then it's going to bring up your roaming folder. Go ahead and click Enter. Make sure that you search for your .minecraft folder, and once you have, go ahead and double click on that. Minecraft Forge created this mods folder for you right here. Go ahead and double click that right now. We're going to drag our new, our new download right into the, mine, in the Minecraft uh, mods folder. So we've just got the Herobrine download. We're ready to go ahead and mod away. We're just going to go ahead and drag it right on over. We're going to select it and drag it right on over into our mods folder. That's all that you got to do. You're done and you're ready to mod. So you just saw that Minecraft uh, had three mods loaded. We're going to go ahead and run it again. And now that we've got it ready to go, we're going to have like four or five mods because I think this downloads a couple of mods, extra mods, into your Minecraft mods folder. And it's going to tell you as soon as it starts, we're going to go ahead and click on play right now. We're already ready to play in our Minecraft Forge. We're set up and ready to go. And once it starts up, it's going to tell you how many mods are downloaded and active. Boom. Here it comes. Five mods loaded, five mods active. You can see that it's ready to go right there. The Herobrine mod has indeed downloaded and installed into our mod list. We're going to go ahead and click on single player right now. We're going to create a new world. We want to go into creative because we want to easily find our blocks real quick but if not if you if you're been on playing in survival you can do that but you're gonna have to learn how to build all the stuff that you just got in your mod which could be a lot of fun too but i like to go ahead and play with it right away we're gonna go ahead and create our new world in creative and then we're gonna open up our menu and you can see all the new stuff that this mod just added to us <sighs> we've done it minecraft Forge for Minecraft version 1.7.2 is successfully downloaded and installed on our computer. It's running. It's ready to play. We're getting ready to show it right on off to you. We're loading in our new world. I don't even know what's happening right now. What in the world? How did we end up over here? <laughs> we ended up under a tree. You to open your inventory. And then we're going to look around just a little bit and all the cool little blocks that we've got. It should have added, let's see, where is it at? We're gonna search for Harold Brine. There it is. 
So we're typing in our little search items area for Harrowbrine. You can spawn Harrowbrine, spawn the entity. Um, it also has got different discs, music that it plays for it as well. And are we ready to spawn Harrowbrine? Let's go ahead and do it. We're going to get a spawn Harrowbrine egg. And there's also another way to get him into the game where he chases you and does all kinds of crazy things. We've done a video on that. Let's go ahead and see if we can remember how to do it. Let's see. I think it was the Harrowbrine totem. And then you need two blocks of gold and also a nether rack. And then what was the other thing? Um, the flint and steel. Let's go ahead and do that. We're ready to go. It's almost nighttime. Boom. Let's see. Let's see if I remember this right. Two blocks of gold. We're going to go right here. Hmm. Do something right there real quick. So that way we can build ourselves up to it. And then we've got the Harrowbrine totem. And then the nether rack. And then the flint and steel. Boom! You don't know what you did! That's it. Harrowbrine's in the game. We're all modded. We're ready to go. Let's see if we can spawn him right here. Ready? Boom. There he is. Did you see him? Boom. But he disappears. But he actually really does come in this game if you uh, keep on playing. After a little while, after so many days, he'll start chasing you and doing all kinds of crazy, freaky things. But that's how you download and install Minecraft Forge 1.7.2 for Minecraft Thanks for watching. This has been another Caden Yerk Family Gaming Tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Harold Brian Cows. YouTube, subscribe today! Hee <laughs> hee!